Hello, amazing people. We are now going to, or, or not we, I'm going to explain to you that if you are running Linux right now, if you have the mindset of a Linux user, you are unique, you are special. <laughs> you are not the minority. You, The way you think about technology is not the way that 99% of the rest of the world works or think, or the vast majority of other people in the world work and think. So let me illustrate a little bit for you guys and girls and robots and aliens and sex people and sexy people and not so sexy people and goat lovers and all. Let's get into it. You and I, we like Linux because we care about stuff like this here, Git. Care about the source code, the license, the technologies, the, you know, the nerdy, dirty stuff in it, you know, how the kernel works, how, you know, hardware talks to the kernel and makes things pop up on your screen and all of that fucking shit. That's what we care about. We are really into this. What do everyone else in the world care about? Stuff like this. Amazing peripherals. Fancy keyboards, headsets, mice, LEDs all over the fucking place. They care about that. Or they care about this. They want to be creative. They, they, they care about that a product they've been using for 10 years, 30 years, a product that has a lot of resources for learning at home and stuff. It don't have to be full, so it can be Infinity Fruit. One. Even Gimp has a good tutorials out there. But they don't care about running Gimp on, on Linux. They don't care about running Gimp as an open source software or Quitter for that matter. They care about GIMP because it's a free alternative to a really, really expensive creative tool. That's what they care about. Or they care about this here that I apparently need to sign away my kidneys to. They care about YouTube, or apparently YouTube Premium for some fucking reason. They care about this, maybe not so much YouTube, but they care about consumption. You know, they want to consume content. And there still is a lot of content you cannot consume on Linux because of DIM and stuff like that. There are local streaming services. Yeah, Netflix may work and, all, you know, the big names may work on the Linux, but there's a lot of small local service. So we have like a Scandinavian, we have a lot of Scandinavian streaming services. Streaming services have become the new fucking um, cable TV. That's what people care about. They care about this. So what do I mean by that? Well, they don't care about that you can go in here and you can tweak away and configure away and customize away to get some of these things up here to work. They care about how convenient is it to do this, use this game, use amazing peripherals, use, you know, uh, Wacom tablets or what they're called, you know, you know, uh, art, you know, the tablets uh, that artists use to, to write or not write on, but to draw on and stuff like that. How convenient and how supported is these hardwares and peripherals that I use? How well do the programs I use and I need to use run and work? Not only on my, for myself, but with the people I talk to, the people I work with, everyone else in the other in the rest of the world. So if you're a graphical artist and you work as a graphical, graphical artist, you may can do use GIMP. But if your job is using Adobe products, if your friends are using Adobe products and you're sharing things between each other and, you know, sharing projects and stuff like that, GIMP just don't cut it. Either you have to get everyone over to GIMP and lose a lot of functionality with project sharing and stuff like that, or because you are the one that don't want Photoshop, you are the one changing to Photoshop. That's what people care about. How easy can I, can I, can I consume international content and localized content. How easy and convenient this is. That's what they care about. They don't give a fuck about the code. They don't give a fuck about the philosophies. They don't give, give a fuck about how efficient it is, how stable it is, how secure it is. As long as the system they are on right now is doing all of these things here for them and is secure and stable enough. And Windows is secure and stable enough. It's not like when you're running Windows, your system is crashing every fucking day, or you're getting hacked and attacked every fucking day. Does it happen? Depend on the situation and the person on the hardware, just with Linux, but it happens. But Linux also crashes fucking once in a while. You know, Linux is not immune to crashes and bugs and stuff like that, and even security risks and security problems. 
but they care about how convenient, how supported of the things that they do outside of the operating system does, does it does. Because here's the thing, think about the operating system in a little, little other way. Instead of thinking about the operating system like the code, the kernel, the libraries and stuff like that, think about the operating system as a platform to let people consume stuff, do stuff, use stuff. So the operating system is a platform for people to use their external, like their, their webcams, their mice, their keyboards, their headsets, uh, and gaming and stuff like, you know, consume content, any content you can, you can imagine, or create content, or code for that matter. You know, we can also be coding. All the, that's what the main purpose of an operating system is, is to allow people to do all of these things. Let's just look at this to what's, what's here. Some, some are doing a better job than others, but if a system is going in and being like, yeah, you can't really use this here or use all the functionality and you have to do X, Y, and Z and blah, blah, you already lost people. Like, they, don't give, they, they, they don't want to mess with it. And you can go, yeah, but it's more stable, it's open source, bro. Like, come on, man. They don't give a fuck. But that's how we think. But we are not, we are not the minority. Oh, sorry, the majority, we are the minority. We are the, we are the few ones thinking like that, you know? Or you're like, oh, look at all of these amazing distributions you can run, but you cannot really work that well with your colleagues and your friends anymore. And there all of these free courses that the company give you into like uh, Affinity Design, Affinity Photo, other, other photos, uh, uh, you know, Photoshop alternatives. Yeah, they're not supporting GIMP. So all of the things you learn, can you take some of it with you over to GIMP? Yeah, but if you are using something the rest of your ecosystem is not using, you are the oddball. You probably want being fired the first. You get what I'm saying here. So no matter how great all of these things is, for people like you and me that care about the code, uh, the, the internals of an operating system, the only thing that most people care about, the vast majority care about is that they look at the operating system as a platform to serve them. A, a, a lot of people not happy with Windows. There's a lot of people not happy with Windows. We can all fucking agree with that. But on the other hand, Windows do these things here way better than Linux for most people. So they are like, yes, Linux has a little bit, or sorry, Windows have a little bit of problems, but I can do stuff on Windows either more conveniently, and you, you get the whole spiel here, than I can under Linux. I can work with my colleagues. I can play all of the games that I want to play. I can use all the peripherals without having to have Windows in a virtual machine or having a separate laptop with Windows or computer with Windows. Every time I want to change the LEDs, I have to plug it into that computer, boot it up, change the LED color, plug it out again, plug it into Linux and plug. You lost people. We are willing to do that because we, we, we love that we have to do that to some extent. It, it's like, oh, this is interesting. Why do we need to do this? You know, we, we go into like, why don't we, why can't we do that under Linux? And what kind of code is it proprietary code that may hold it back? And we go all, you know, fucking head deep into that rabbit hole. Why is it, and, and can we maybe fix it? And st we love that shit. It's a, Linux for us is a project. It's like people buying an old car or an old house and renovating it. That's how we look at operating systems. Most people don't want a project. They want an operating system that serves them. And why do I say this? No matter how much you can say that, oh, it's because of monopolies and stuff like that. If Linux was uncategorically the best operating system, everyone would be using it. They would be uninstalling Windows the second they get a computer and installing Linux on it. They would. They really would. Or they would get someone to do it for you. They, oh, it's because it's being bought with Windows on it. No, it's not. I remember when Windows Vista came out, there were a lot of non-technical people that bought underpowered computers with Windows Vista on it and hated it and got someone to install Windows XP on it. I couldn't remember the version. They found someone or learned themselves how to install Windows XP so they could do all of these things here with the new laptop they, or, or computer they just got. Installing a new operating system, everyone can do it. So for most people, not us, not little us, <laughs> but for most people, the operating system is just a platform to help them or serve them to consume or create or do stuff they like to do. But we are not thinking like most people. And we have to fucking remember that. It's really important that we don't push 
our lifestyle and our beliefs and the way we look at the world when it comes to computing and think that everyone else should think like that and are thinking like that because there's so much evidence that they don't or else they will all be using Linux. See you all later. Bye bye.